What's up, YouTube? Car Boss here, back in another video with about cars, money investing, and today we're talking about Marvel cars, specifically the 2021-2022 Metal Spider-Man, right? And in particular, the PMGs, PMG Greens and PMG Reds, right? And what are my observations in terms of the prices, in terms of the recently sold cars? You know, now that we're roughly about almost coming to a month into Spider-Man Metal. We have seen lots and lots of boxes uh, being open, um, lots of wax and like a lot of fun, exciting times, lots of good stuff, lots and lots of good content. I, I absolutely love a lot of them, right? Uh, I myself did not purchase a single box of uh, Spider-Man Metal. Um, it's not that I didn't feel that it was a good product. I think it's a great product, lots and lots of nice cards. I love the art on a lot of these cards, you know, but one thing, of course, uh, the, the prices uh, that you can get in the secondary market on eBay has gone up to like 600, 600-ish, 600 which is uh, way, way higher than the pre-order prices of like 200 plus, right? And in fact, you know, uh, as what most of us would be aware of, you know, the physical products that's been released now is only about like 25% of what the actual total production is. And there'll be another 75% of these cars that's going to be available on upper that EPAC, I believe sometime soon, maybe as soon as next month. So, uh, if you think that we're seeing lots and lots of uh, metal cards at the moment, uh, there's going to be tons more that's going to come in. But of course, you know those, those are all on EPAC uh, digital cards, uh, which you can actually uh, convert down to your COMC account and get the physical cards shipped to your house. But you now, as far as uh, entertainment value is concerned, you know, looking at all the the wax has been ripped and you know, all these fun rips or all the PMGs has come out it's just great excitement but I'm not going to talk about that today I'm going to talk about the prices that I'm seeing and what are my thoughts on these prices and off the bat right I'm looking at the PMG greens and I'm like jaw drop at some of these prices here okay so I mean I'm just going to take you a run through this a recent ones that's uh, been closed right so you have your hobgoblin uh, 2200 you have a magneto 3150 uh, I think that scroll down here to another magneto here two thousand dollars and this spider gwen goes by seven thousand dollars best offer accepted Oof. so much more down here you know coming in I think what the one that got started everybody was like Thor I believe let me get down to Thor uh, 5500 and then we got a spider gwen here six thousand dollars and in fact you got some other lesser known characters here iron heart you know to some people lesser known right of course to the big spider-man fans these are all characters they're well familiar of Marlin, you know, 1300 you know <laughs> jonah jameson 900 bucks these are all big money you know pmg greens no doubt they're all number to 10 it's pretty hard to actually obtain these PMGs, right? So, uh, but the, the prices on these, you know, Black Bolt, 1500 So, I'm really going to draw a comparison later on to the X-Men battle, but let's let's have a look at PMG rates uh, for, for now, right? So, these are PMG rates. These are number, number 100, okay? So, we have here Spider-Man, uh, that's uh, 299 that's uh, 500 bucks. Uh, a couple others here, 250 for the Nova. Okay, Scarlet Witch, 500. You know, there seems still sub 1,000 range until we get to the bigger guys, right? There we got, I think, Spider Man down here at 3,250. Then we got another Spider Man here at 3,000. So these are the, 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 I would say, the key cards of in L4, the PMG rates, but huge, huge dollars, right? Venom here, you know, 1,200 Canadian. So that's a lot of money. Uh, if you can recall, right? So I'm going to draw a comparison to X Men Metal. Uh, the Wolverine Low series, I think it was the best uh, chase card in terms of uh, for this uh, PMG. So I think they started off roughly about like $3,000 for a PMG rate. It's now settling between the $15 to $1,800 range. So, and a lot of the PMGs in that set, you know, including uh, high series Wolverine, you, know, you can get them for less than a thousand bucks these days. So, for now, again, you know, I want to say it's overpriced, but you know, the demand, the demand is just hot for these uh, PMGs, you know, in general. Normally, when you somebody goes out this early to pick up cards, you know, uh, at this price, you know, they will fall under one of the I would say five categories of of, of uh, people buying. You know, either your character collecting, right? So let's say you're a Scarlet Witch fan, so you pay five hundred dollars uh, up outright to get this into your PC straight away, or maybe you're set collecting, right? So you just want to put together a set and then try and buy as many pieces as possible to get a set quickly, or maybe you just you know find something that's in a reasonable price. You believe that the Scarlet Witch, you know, let's say example again 500 is a bit low you think it's maybe worth 750 so you want to buy and flip of course uh, there is the, the grading option you know send, sending to PSA or CGC uh, to, to send for grading and try to get an up value you know for a gem copy that's could be one avenue as well or you could just want to just buy and just hold 
onto these PMGs. But regardless of whatever your strategy is, right, you know, perhaps if you're character collecting and you just want to lock in this piece, you know, especially the greens, you know, maybe uh, you may not ever see another copy out in a while. Again, I understand paying you know, big dollars for a certain card. Let's say, for example, this Ghost Spider or Spider Gwen. Seven thousand dollars, huge, huge dollars, right? For uh, this particular card, you know, maybe it's out of ten, you don't expect to see it again. So, you know, and if you have the cash to shell out for that amount, and therefore you go in at seven thousand dollars, okay. But again, if I draw example back to the X Men medal, right? At one point in time, we had a huge, uh, I would say, buying spree of the PMG greens, whereby I did a video on it, whereby I believe there were two collectors you know trying to piece together the set it's 200 cards in total right so so they were buying all the loose pmgs the random pmgs you know roughly about a thousand dollars each and we're seeing similar patterns you know to some of these greens you know priced at a thousand bucks each at this point in time so again i don't foresee anyone who is not set collecting or not character collecting you know to to pay a thousand dollars for tombstone you know even if it's a three hour ten uh, PMG, right? So, uh, you know, you're saying they're gonna buy and grade, and maybe you try and sell it for two thousand dollars later on. I, that's, I find it hard to believe. You know, of course it can happen. You know, uh, I would say the art is like uh, spectacular on on some of these cards, but some of them are they are nice. Like you know, the Gwen art here is obviously uh, reminiscent to her first appearance in her comic. So there is, uh, you know, maybe uh, people want to put those two and two together. You know, CGC in the comic, CGC in in the card, and therefore willing to shell out this amount of money. Those kind of facts I do understand, but it's still a lot of money, right, on these PMG greens at this juncture. You know, I. It's kind of like exercising some sort of restraint, you know, in trying to enter this market. You know, I, I like the look at all these cards. I love Spider Gwen. You guys know I love Spider Gwen, right? I, I have the, I would say, the not half rainbow, right? Of the 2017 Flip Ultra Spider Man. And I would love to get, you know, a PMG green and a PMG red of these Spider Gwens, you know, both Gwens especially, but not at these prices. The, these, are, these are insane, you know. So for some of you guys who paid the money for them, I, I, I'm not saying anything negative about it. I, I perhaps you fall under one of the buckets I mentioned earlier. You know, character collecting, set collecting. I get all of that, but in my opinion, it's just so high at this point in time. You know, Epex coming in, it's going to really saturate the market. Tons and tons are coming. Tons and tons are tons and tons of cards are going to flow into the system, right? So we're just going to see how how does that play out. You know, I I think that we have. I took a lot of learnings from X-Men Metal before I did buy into a bunch of X-Men Metal cards early on, you know, I bought into Gambit PMGs early on, you know, only to burn roughly about 50% of the value later on, you know, and of course, we have to deal with the issues of condition, some of these PMGs don't come in the exact pristine condition of PSA 9 or better, right, uh, I think I believe the one Gwen that I let go earlier uh, was a PMG Red uh, Spider Gwen, which didn't really, you know, with the condition, I was like on the fence about it because I knew it was not going to get anything better than a PSA 8. So I decided to let it go and, you know, true enough, uh, within I think less than a day, it got snapped up by somebody else and presumably it's uh, by another Spider Gwen collector. So that's my personal view on the PMGs uh, for this 2021-2022 uh, Spider Man metal. I think there's a lot, lots more wax to be ripped up. People are still getting excited. I think once uh, the landscape will definitely change, once uh, EPAC comes out, we're going to see a lot of movements in these uh, prices when a lot more of this population appears into this market. All right, that's all I have for today. I uh, hope you like this content and uh, do like and subscribe for more future Marvel videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Cowboys out.